Ms. Aragata was teaching about the process of I am to identify with I am. In the West, we did not know much about this whole pure awareness, which was taught in the East by people like Buddhists from Tibet, the Mahamudra, or the uh, Ripu Gita, which talks only about the I am of Shiva. But we have the Gospel of John in the West, and now we have even the Centering Prayer of Thomas Keating, where we are led back into this pure awareness. What did Jesus say in the Gospel of John? He said, I am the door. I am the wine and you guys are the branches. I am the truth. I am the way. So here seven times he said about himself, I am words. And the eighth time he, he said, before Abraham was, I am. I am, my I am was before the creation of this world. And also in the beginning of the Gospel of John, it says, in the beginning was God and was the Word. Was the Word created with God, by God, and was God, and nothing was created except through this Word. It was like a bad <laughs> memory. But basically the Word and God was one from the beginning. Can we tap into this I am of Jesus? This is what I use in my coaching as the I am process, I call it I am process. One important part, uh, our, uh, prerequisite to reach the pure I am, the pure open awareness is the reco recovery of the soul. Our soul is shattered and spread out both in illusionary, illusionary worlds, worlds of illusions and true levels of reality because we have believed in illusions for many lifetimes and we have had traumas many lifetimes before us and now we are here and we try to awake but we have maybe only 15 percent of our soul with us the rest is scattered in the universe how can we recover that this is called soul recovery shamans offer this we can offer this today in the west too the system, how we do it, is called InnerWise, the sound of worlds. So when you look at the website, they have many tools. How we do it is basically we um, use intelligent energies, like the shamans use intelligent uh, spirits, in order to recollect your soul. Or we can do it ourselves. When we expand our awareness far enough, we recollect your soul. And when you are recovered, then you can start this I am process, which means that you are here and you live out of this I am. The I am is without content. The I am, the energy of you, is beyond and between your thoughts. It is far, farther, it goes farther than your body. It goes even farther than the world you see around you. So let's tap into this for a moment. I will extend this energy to you and you can tap into it. So go into the feeling of I am. Don't think about it, just feel a space, energy, identity, a particular light in you which is unique in all the universe. So allow this I am to be there and come always back by letting go the thoughts you have again and again. Like the centering prayer goes, or you call it also kinosis. When you let go your thinking, the I am has to be birthed in your awareness. Your awareness is 
widen, brighten. And you feel how it is to be without content, a space, spaceless space, unlimited space. When we talk about you and your fast, vast spirit, we're not saying that anything is separated from you or distant from you. God is still in you and you and God in outside of God is nothing. Therefore you can relax and you don't be afraid that you lose yourself in this. Your identity is not based on limitations but on your unique light which is cannot be replaced in all the universe. So stay in this I am. And get used to it, to live out of this. This will give you more peace and happiness and more security. There is nothing to defend, nothing to prove, nothing to develop. You are already perfect. As it says in the Course in Miracles, I'm still as God created me. So enjoy this peace, a different kind of identity, ma ma much more profound, which can never be attacked or hurt. It's like the ocean. And events and thoughts, feelings cross the surface of the ocean like little waves, but the ocean itself does not change. So. I wish you good luck with your practice and if you have any questions or need help, contact me.